So how do we save a historic ferry building? Well, here we are on our virtual reality set, and I'm joined by the engineer of the Port of San Francisco, Steve Real. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. At you. the port, virtually, how do we raise a ferry building that's, what, 25,000 tons? Slowly and carefully. Yes. Uh, the first thing we have to do is get the water out. So we install a temporary coffer dam around the perimeter. You can see, okay. And then pump the water and the mud out that's settled in over the last century. Now you can see the foundation. We install hydraulic jacks. How many? Two to 300 hydraulic jacks for the computer control system. We cut the piers and start lifting the building very slowly. Once it's raised, we install pier extensions, take the jacks out, pump the water back in and then remove the coffer dam. And how much water are we talking about? How many feet? The projections are up to seven feet of sea level rise over the next century. Okay. Now let's talk about just the project in itself. I've never seen a building lifted, let alone over the water. Is this a first? It's a first for over the water. It certainly is. Oh my, and so we'll then come down to the entire pier as well? Yes, the entire waterfront's going to need to come up. San Francisco wants to be the city by the bay, not in it. So we have to take care of it now. But we should say this is the planning stages. So when will this actually take place? We're about a decade away from this project. OK, and then the lift is how long? Once the jacks are in place, about two to three months. I cannot imagine. So now, as we see the ferry building today, how will it look when this project's complete? Will it look different or will it look the same to our, to our eyes? Well, it'll look the same. That's the beauty of it. It's preserved for the next generation in its location over the bay. So are there plans in the works to change some of the things, to add something, maybe to the basement? That's a possibility. <laughs> Possibly. Once you have the water out and are underneath, that's, that's certainly a possibility. All right, so let's talk about the price tag. I know the Army Corps of Engineers is picking up some of the tab. How much does something like this cost? Waterfront-wide, the cost is in the billions, and the Army Corps of Engineers can pay up to 65%. All right, so our virtual reality set showed pretty much how it's going to go down that's or right. up for the water. That's right. <laughs> All right, Steve, thank you so much. Are you excited about a project like this? We need our engineer happy. I'm thrilled, I'm You're thrilled. Th okay, thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing how it all comes together. Thanks for having me. Thanks.